so I think we might go to Guam. It's about 3,000 miles. We could go there, that would be a staging point to Palau, the Philippines, Indonesia. But we'll stay in Fiji until there's a threat of a uh, cyclone. And it looks like it's a bad threat, then we might just sail north and try to get over to Guam. It's America's most isolated territory. It's Guam. The United States has five inhabited territories. The U.S. Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, American Samoa, the Northern Mariana Islands, and Guam itself. The island stretches less than 30 miles from top to bottom, which makes it smaller than every other U.S. state and territory, and yet it packs more than 160,000 people that into that board. small size. In <laughs> yeah. fact, it's more densely populated than all but five U.S. states or territories. You see American license plates, American-style ambulances, they have U.S. post offices, they use the U.S. US dollar, they have American stores, American hotels, US national parks, US airlines. There is no compromise on the Americanness of Guam because it is the US. Um, yeah, it's crazy. I just don't, I really, I really thought things would be opening up and it doesn't seem like they are. It's crazy. As we started to get excited about Guam, we did a little more research and learned that unfortunately, Guam has had an increase in COVID cases recently which wasn't promising for travel to and from there. Oh, there's Anna. A huge jump in COVID cases over the last like month or two. What the heck? So that's probably not gonna be a, a good thing. So Why, are you afraid of COVID? Well, I mean, no, but I'm not gonna be able to fly to the US and get back. Who knows what'll happen? They might lock things down. I was reading an article about a woman who had her, uh, her father's remains and she was trying to go from like Arizona to the Philippines and she got locked down in Guam because the Philippines shut down all of a sudden, so she couldn't get that. So I don't know, Guam might not be a uh, possibility right now. I hate to leave a, a COVID-free country. We've been very blessed and very ignorant to kind of what's going on in the rest of the world with, with masks and COVID and all that. It seems to not be a deal here. It's just not a thing, but I know it is everywhere else. But I want to see Anna. I miss Anna. Really, really, really bad. She's back in the States. She's doing school. She's working hard, making really good grades. But I guess we don't get to see him for Thanksgiving or Christmas. Well, after doing much more research on Guam, we have decided that uh, it might not be our best course of action in Guam has COVID there, not a lot, but it does have COVID there. But more importantly, we're not real uh, fired up about going somewhere where there's lots of rules and regulations about COVID and, and uh, a lot of restrictions on living. We haven't dealt with that. Uh, we've uh, we got into a little bit in New Zealand. Here in Fiji, it's absent. There's, there's complete freedom here in Fiji. I mean, you can do whatever you want, wherever you want. There's no COVID here. And uh, if I go to, if we go to Guam, we obviously are in a COVID country then, and then that might limit us on where we could jump off to, to whether it be Indonesia, Australia, uh, uh, Palau, the Philippines. So we have to be careful about the moves we make because it's like a chess game out here. It's, it's uh, you got to be thinking two or three moves out of what's going to be Im impacted by the moves you make. Um, we're perfectly content to stay here in Fiji. I'm not worried about cyclones. I mean, I am but I'm not, I think it's pretty safe. We've mitigated the risk here pretty well. They've mitigated the risk. Uh, Dinner Al Marina and, and uh, all the guy, all the people there have done a good job of keeping yachts safe during cyclones. And so uh, I'm not too worried about that, but at the same time, we'd like to have our family fly in somewhere and our, our daughters and see them. Uh, so I don't know, we, uh, we're uh, just trying to figure it all out, and we, we want adventure. I mean, uh, we've seen all of, we've seen a lot of Fiji now. We spent three four months here, and we've seen it, and uh, we love it. But we uh, it's time to start on that adventure wagon again. So let's get some adventure going again, and, and start exploring new places we hadn't seen. I sent an email into the Solomons, and they can't. They won't open up until January. They're going to look at it in January, so they're not letting any yachts in in the Solomons. I really wanted to go there in Vanuatu, but it doesn't look like we're going to make it. The other thing is, 
you know we've been really blessed to be here in Fiji without a bunch of cruisers and tourists here it's been super nice I mean next season when when they open up there's gonna be hundreds and hundreds of boats here so we kind of lucked out and getting here but we took a risk there so I don't know it's, it's been good and bad it's been great being here in Fiji with no other boaties not very many yachties and getting to see Fiji like it was probably 50 years ago uh, and it's nice no COVID here so I, there's a lot of good things here We, we're gonna get fuel, but the fuel dock isn't working. I'm again. sweating like a five dollar chicken on nickel net. Really? Wow, look at Kate back there. Show us your moves, girly. Let's see it. Dance. Boom. Uh oh. Renegade, renegade. <laughs> I like your cut, Jeep. I don't wanna hit your face and your glasses fall off. About time for a little air conditioning, huh, Jack? I don't know. No, I'm okay going. without it. Oh, I like you might heat. need it, but. The heat intense by like 20% when we get here. Yeah. It was yeah. nice and cold over in. Well, there's, there's no around. wind. Yeah. Flowing through here, but we can plug in and have AC. Very close on this side. Get a little close. Very hot. There you go. We've really enjoyed our last few months here in Fiji with its gorgeous sandy beaches, the tropical landscapes, the unbelievable greens and blues, and aquamarines. There's literally no place on earth like it. But our life's mission is adventure and exploration. So even though the underwater world here is just as fascinating as the outside world, we're looking forward to the next great place. Hoping for an opportunity to swim in the Coral Sea or dive the Great Barrier Reef, go kiting in the Philippines, experience an Indonesian or Malaysian sunset, and to keep venturing west on our family journey. Okay, so Anna's gonna ship us some stuff here since we decided to stay in Fiji at least for another month or so. So the boys are getting what? What are you getting? So I'm I'm ordering me some more PlayStation most because the one we have right now, the ones we have right now are not functional. You've rebuilt them like twice, haven't you? Yeah, I've yeah, Ben's been. rebuilt them, he's combined it parts, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and get them from America, yeah. from PlayStation. Looks official, feels official. It's gotta be good. <laughs> Anna's gonna ship us all this once she gets it. I don't know. Feels good. All right. So we're loading up our Amazon cart with all kinds of neat things that we want and need and haven't had in a year. So we're gonna go take a shower. One of the great things about Dinner Round Marina is their shower facilities and their laundry facilities. So anytime we come, we try to take a nice hot shower. We have hot water on the boat, but it just doesn't last very long. So we like to come out here and soak in some hot water, lather up, and do some laundry. Most boaters here come to wash and dry things that they don't know their own. Nice and big, I love them. Yeah. nice showers. They're really nice, always clean. Yeah, they are. They look brand new. Yeah, they look, they're always clean. Yeah. All right, let's shower, baby. Well, that was fantastic. That was very, very refreshing. I didn't even need hot water. It's not even cold out here, but it felt good. It was warm. It was nice and very refreshing. So we just pulled into uh, Dinner Owl, Port Dinner Owl Marina the other day. Been here for a couple of days, taking care of some business. Getting some fuel today. We're getting ready to head back out of Muscat Cove. But the neat thing was, is Dinner Owl, Port Marina, Cynthia Roush and those uh, the wonderful people here at the marina put on a hurricane event yesterday, a hurricane cyclone event here at the Yacht Club. And we talked about cyclone preparedness, getting into the mangroves, doing things like that. This meeting was a wealth of new information because the folks running Port Denaral Marina are just as concerned about the well-being of our boats and our family as we are. 
We learned that 2020 is a La Nina year in the South Pacific, meaning the Southeast trades coming off of South America have pushed colder water from the Arctic up towards the equator, cooling the ocean temperatures along the equator. With this happening, Fiji should be in a convergent zone where cold water and warm water come together. Because of these cooler sea temperatures, this may limit the risk of a severe cyclone, which we hope will mean that we should only see the beginnings of a storm and then it'll move off to the southeast before it builds into a full-blown cyclone. According to NIWA, the National Institute of Water and Atmospheric Research, Fiji is at a normal risk right now for this season, so that makes us feel better. As you can see, New Caledonia and New Zealand are at an elevated risk this year, as indicated by the dark areas. According to this outlook chart, the prediction is that we should only see two to three tropical cyclones in the Fiji area this year, with peak season being February and March. The Marina team has done a great job of helping us feel confident and prepared should anything happen. Hop over to their website at denaralmarina.com to find out more information about what they're doing to keep the boating community aware, alert, and at ease. While they're filling up with fuel, I'm going to get some fresh fruits and veggies here at Farm Boy, the local stand market with uh, all kinds of goodies. And then we'll head out to Muskie Cove. Hola. She's open. Hola. Hola. How are you? How are you, Daddy? I'm good. I'm good. Um, and then apple. Get the you please take our fresh and fruit back. Thank you so much. Thank you. Binaka. Binaka. All right, we got pineapples, bananas, uh, some kiwis. We like to make strawberry kiwi smoothies. They're so good in that blender that we got. Just throw some frozen strawberries, bula, and some kiwi and a little bit of juice. Delicious. Bula. 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 How are you? Good, thank you. Good. 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 Woo. Did you take the trash? Yeah. Awesome. I said it, you didn't say it. I like to get Alright, here you go. It smells like grub in there. Don't get that in the juice. I know I'm not over there. Leave to 
Kite surfing is lame. We surf. surf in the wind. You don't know how to surf. No, we go surfing over there. We're going to Oh, you don't surf when there's wind. I know that much because you want it to be flat. You don't want it to be choppy. No, no, no. Let's go surfing in 50 knots of wind. Man doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm a surfer. I've been surfing for 12 years. My name is Captain Jack Sparrow. I'm a snowboarder and surfer, and you gotta find that balance. A brut I. There's only one. I came across some old footage that I had never put together. So here's a throwback to a cold day in June in New Zealand, as winter had officially set in, but someone said something about lobsters. Cold. Yeah, it is cold. My feet are numb. You're crazy, man. Well, the water's actually warmer than the deck. So we're getting ready to go try to find some uh, craze or lobsters. What are those called, Brian? Packers. Packies, packies, big packies. my second run when y'all saw me. That slot went all the way around the other yeah. side. Yeah, that was my second run. I had never seen so many freaking lobsters in there that just staring at you. Uh, you could just shoot blindly and like Allie will, be, Allie will be very stuck. <laughs> she loves these, son. Good. Oh man, that's a good haul. How many we got there? How many more tanks you got, Keith? <laughs> I, got, I got one there. We can go. So there's, there's none of that, that side is there. No. So there's It was great. Was um, it? The diving was absolutely fantastic. Best yeah. we've had yet. Awesome. A little bit of a cold ride back, but oh, well I bet. worth it. So look at these beauties. Well, it's, it's, it's hot. That's not even hot. <laughs> yeah. We'll just set them here and we'll make a pretty pretty pile. Oh, my girl's been down at all or are they still working? No, they must still be working. Oh, what a pretty pretty easy dive. Really uh, fantastic. Are they alive or dead? They're dead. This one's No, there's dead. one that's trying to run away. He's not happy about the whole situation. 